What are your expectations from the union budget? Well, the union budget has a, of 2016 has a task cut out already through the vision uh, that the government has already laid down, uh, which includes creation of 100 smart cities. And it also talks about um, housing for all by 2022. Now, uh, in order to achieve that vision, there are a plethora of uh, measures that need to be taken now, and uh, which include regulatory measures as well as budgetary measures. Uh, my expectation from 2016 budget is that we kickstart the process by providing for those measures in the budget itself. What's your take on the demand for an industry status for the real estate sector? I think, yes, this has been a long pending demand from the industry, uh, from real estate, that it should be given an industry status and it deserves to be given an industry status given the fact that it is the second largest employer in the country after agriculture. How will the industry status help the sector? Well, there are many things that an industry status will do. First and foremost, the, from, the, from the financial aspects, from the budgetary aspects, the, from, you know, the provisioning norms will change. A. B. The limits that are set for banks um, for the real estate sector lending will also increase. So what does that do? A. It will make uh, funding available at cheaper rates than it, it presently is. And number two, it will also increase the fund allocation from the banks. Uh, towards real estate sector. So therefore putting more money uh, on the sector. So that's point number one. The second thing that will do, it will create a, a, a strong representation uh, which, will, which will kind of be getting recognition. So that recognition in turn would be able to present the needs um, and, the, and the issues with regard to the real estate uh, industry per se. Uh, well with the government, it will be received well. So it could be a body which could unified represent the real estate industry, pan India, as against the splinter bodies that are presently available, number two. Number three, there could be a regulatory framework which will get created, which will be uniform again, whereby bringing in transparency in the processes and a unifying uh, uh, approach with regard to the real estate. Now that would definitely help in the external funds looking um, favorably towards India um, with that perspective. So these are the measures, these are the measures if taken would definitely by you know enhance uh, the real estate sector's ability to realize uh, the vision of government. Your view on the single window clearance concept for the sector? We would love to have single window clearance. In fact, um, um, that's been one of the points where, uh, that's been one of the pain points rather, where projects get delayed because of having run from table to table for, for approvals. I think uh, single window clearance will be extremely good for the industry. Will the real estate bill materialize in this budget session? Yes, I think much, has, much work has been done. I think wherever it needed further work to be done from from the government side, from from the various parties, uh, I think most of it has been addressed, and I would we would definitely hope to see the bill coming.